Welcome to the Digital Moneta channel. Today we're going to take another look at how to short cryptocurrencies using CryptoHopper on the Binance exchange. Uh, but first of all, I think it's important that we kind of go over traditional short selling versus how CryptoHopper actually handles a short sell. Traditional short selling would entail the sale of a security that is not owned by the seller or that the seller has borrowed. Short selling is motivated by the belief that a security's price will decline, enabling it to be bought back at a lower price to make a profit. So let's kind of take a look at an example. Uh, let's say you believe that EOS will decline in price. You therefore borrow 100 tokens and sell them. You are now short 100 tokens of EO since you have sold something that you did not own in the first place. The short sale was only made possible by borrowing the tokens which the owner may demand back at some point. And then a few hours later EOS falls in value and you decide to close the short position and buy 100 tokens on the open market to replace the borrowed to tokens. Your profit on that short sale, excluding commissions, is the difference between the sell price and the buy price. So for example, if you took a look at the EOS chart and maybe you saw a double top coming in here and you decided that's going to be resistance and therefore I believe EOS will go down. And so you put in a sell order for 100 tokens of EOS anticipating that it will go down. Now you don't own 100 tokens of uh, EOS so you actually have to borrow it and exchanges like Bitfinex, Polinex, they allow you to borrow on margin and so you will borrow those 100 tokens and then as the price goes down you look for an entry price back in hopefully the bottom to buy those 100 tokens so you can replace the borrowed tokens and in this situation you would have put a sell order for the 100 tokens you borrowed at 9050 and let's say you put the buy order in over in this area at 8550 if that was the case your profit would be the 8550 minus the 9050 so approximately 500 uh, would be your profit on that particular move now the way crypto hopper actually works is you actually have to own the 100 tokens in order to place this sell order once you place that sell order it will actually track the token whether it be down or up and in order to exit your short position you would put on a buy and again hopefully you put your buy on after it has declined rather than increased if you put your buy order on once it has increased then you would have sold at a lower price than you bought in at so you would actually realize a loss so let's jump over to our actual hopper we actually aren't going to just talk about it we'll show you how we actually execute some of these trades now in the past before we really got the configuration dialed in we were manually closing out our short positions when we would get in a short position now the way we get into a short position on crypto hopper is via our strategy and we'll go over those configurations here in a moment our strategy would actually trigger a short sell uh, of a token that we already owned for instance in this case we had uh, 399 tokens of iota uh, it was going up and a sell order or a short was put on once it met our strategy requirements now once we felt like we had met our profit point which usually is about one percent to 1.25 by the time this actually closed on our manual close it ended up being shy of one percent once we put that order on uh, we were closed out to realize a profit between the 177 that hit the token had already gone up this was actually a plus 177 plus the 0.77 and it ended up being approximately this 2.56 percent once we put the buy order on so we then end up with iota back as a normal holding position 
of these 399 tokens and then we eventually closed this out a couple minutes later as the market looked like it was going to go back down so we manually closed it now we have since fine-tuned our settings within our configuration and so now it's actually doing it via the automated bot we don't actually have to do it so elf is an example of one that actually went through the process without our involvement whatsoever so if we look back at the date that we actually purchased elf we purchased elf back on october 3rd uh, via our strategy uh, we bought 642 tokens and so we put a buy on and over time elf worked its way up and had become overbought and therefore triggered a short of the actual position of those 642 tokens now elf was actually only up 1.21 percent at that time but had be hit our bollinger band and overbought uh, strategy and therefore triggered a short so once the short was put on on october 6 now we bought it october 3rd three days later a short comes into play and then a day later on october 7th this actually achieves our 1.25 percent profit that we want and so therefore the bot closes out our short by placing a buy order and so now when you combine the 121 and the 125 and what probably actually happened is we bought in probably a little lower than this percentage profit and so therefore we end up with a 2.48 percent gain and then about 10 minutes later this starts to retrace and because we have a trailing stop loss in place and we don't want it to go below a certain point it actually put on a sell and we got out of the position with a 2.4 percent overall gain so half of this percent gain was from a short and half of this percent of gain was basically from a long position combined these two produced this profit so that is an actual live trade of how short feature of crypto hopper actually did function and actually get us a profit and so if we go ahead and take a look at the elf chart on trading view to see how this actually played out rather than just a trading history we can see back here on october 6th the market hits our Bollinger Bands and it hits our overbought signal for L, at which point the short is put on. And so it travels down and we're looking for a 1.25% profit before we close out. And technically it looks like we should have got out here, but in trading, you don't always get out on these long candles. Sometimes that's just a single trade and you didn't have your sell on so it didn't get you out we actually end up getting out over here on this dip where we hit our 1.25 and we place a buy so here triggered a sell on the tokens that we already owned and then triggered a buy there and we realize our profit and so now we'll jump back over to crypto hopper and look at those configurations and so from the configuration base configuration tab you want to go to your shorting settings and what we have currently running is we do not have reset position after closed short or restore position after short uh, we actually have automatic shorting enabled and maximum short positions we just have set at four we've actually never had more than two ever go at the same time so four out of our 15 coins that were allowed on this bunny account is what we're going with there uh, the open short based on strategy uh, the close short based on strategy is not how we actually close it we're going to close our position uh, based on a percentage of profit and more so with a trailing stop short so what we've done is enabled the trailing stop short we want it to arm when it hits 1.25 percent and we wanted to go ahead and follow that down and once it retraces 0.25 percent go ahead and close out that position and place a buy order and then the rest of these settings we don't actually enable and so far with these settings we've actually been able to get the crypto hopper bot to go ahead and actually successfully execute 
the short selling without actually having to manually do any of the process whatsoever. Now, as far as our strategy and what actually triggers our short sells it is under strategy tab under advanced. And so we're doing 30 minute candles. We're requiring both RSI and Bollinger bands to be met and the overbought threshold of 90 is what will trigger a short for our bot including bollinger bands with deviations of two on this particular bot and i think that will pretty much wrap it up we just wanted to jump on here give everybody an update we had done a short video a while back uh, but we were actually having to do the manually closing out now we're actually getting it to be fully automated and we're seeing some success with it and i hope this helps you all understand how crypto hopper shorting is actually a little different than the traditional shorting. And if you like the video, do us a favor and spike us a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps our channel grow. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. We try to respond to everybody. And until next time, lock in those profits and we'll see you in the next video.